The 2018 Beijing Summit of Forum on China-Africa Cooperation is underway here. Themed China and Africa, building an even stronger community with a shared future through win-win cooperation. Chinese President Xi Jinping delivered a keynote speech at the opening ceremony Monday afternoon. She opened his speech by making it clear that China has always treated African countries as equal partners and brotherly friends, and that China-Africa solidarity can't be undermined. The Chinese and African people have the final say regarding their bilateral cooperation, and no one can deny the achievements that have been made. China, he said, respects, loves, and supports Africa, and pledges to follow a five-no approach. No interference in African countries' pursuit of development paths that fit their national conditions. No interference in African countries' internal affairs. No imposition of our will on African countries. No attachment of political strings to assistance to Africa. And no seeking of selfish political gains in investment and financing cooperation with Africa. President Xi went on to assure his African guests of China's continued commitment to opening up its markets and to safeguarding an open world economy and multilateral trade system. Anyone who isolates himself on an island, he warned, has no future. The massive forum, packed with more than 50 African leaders, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and other foreign dignitaries, applauded as she hailed the very real benefits that have been achieved through China-Africa cooperation in combating poverty, increasing incomes, and bettering people's lives. To build on those successes, China's president pledged to implement eight major initiatives over the next three years. Initiatives that will promote industrialization, new infrastructure, more trade, and greener energy for both sides. China is ready to buy more African products as well. A new China-Africa Trade Expo will help increase imports, especially non-resource products, from African firms. Africans are eager to learn more about China's remarkable economic rise, and China is open to sharing what it's learned. In his speech, President Xi promised more vocational training opportunities for young African students, more scholarships, sponsorships, and more academic exchanges. And that's just the start. President Xi pledged China will work with African partners to set up 50 medical and health programs, a new institute for African studies, a China-Africa Peace and Security Fund, additional free military support for the AU, 50 agricultural assistance programs, 50 security assistance programs, and more emergency humanitarian aid. Going forward, China will also spearhead 50 innovative projects to help Africans protect their environment, their land, and their seas, with a focus on wildlife protection and desertification prevention and control. China is the world's largest developing country, and the African continent is home to the largest number of developing states. For decades, the two sides have shared a close partnership, and today they share a common future. Their successful cooperation has become a model for other South-South cooperation as well. A Chinese saying quoted by Xi during his speech sums up that spirit extremely well. The ocean is vast because it rejects no rivers.